Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this video, we will learn the PWM and PPM demodulation. PWM stands for pulse width modulation, while PPM for pulse position modulation. There is another type of uh, pulse modulation known as PAM. So in case of pulse amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the pulsed carrier wave is varied according to the amplitude of the message signal. While in case of PWM and PPM, the width and the relative positions of the pulsed carrier wave is changed or varied according to the message signal. So here we will see how we can demodulate or detect the PWM and PPM signal. Okay, How we can extract the message signal from these modulated signals. So you should know here that to demodulate a PWM or PPM signal, we first need to convert these uh, signals, both kinds of signals, PWM and PPM, first into pulse amplitude modulated signal, that is PAM signal. And then we pass it through the low pass filter. We pass the pulse amplitude modulated signal through the low pass filter and we get the message signal in the output. It is very clear from this uh, small uh, block diagram that uh, to demodulate or detect PWM or PPM wave, we first need to convert it into PAM signal, pulse amplitude modulated signal. And then this is transmitted or passed through a low pass filter LPF. Then we get in the output the message signal okay the desired message signal so let's see how we can do this we will see here the block diagram and the waveforms so friends you can see here it is the block diagram of the demodulation of pwm and ppm so what we do here we will see it with the help of uh, waveforms okay so first of all here we have this pwm signal pulse width modulated signal and we pass it uh, through the power splitter as the name suggests power splitters job is to split or to divide the power suppose here we have uh, 30 watts of power then uh, the 15 watt power would be would go in this in this uh, direction and uh, 15 watt will go in this direction so power splitter just splits or divides the power of the modulated wave then here is the ramp generator and in this way we have the pulse generator. So what is the function of ramp generator? The ramp generator acts as an integrator. Okay. So it integrates the signal while the job of the pulse generator is to create a pulse. To create a pulse. So let me explain it to you with the help of uh, this uh, waveform. It will be very clear then. Look here. Here we have this PWM signal. Okay. This is the PWM signal. As we know that in pulse width modulated signal, the width of the pulsed carrier wave is varied according to the message signals amplitude, amplitude of the message signal. So you can see these variations here uh, since its width is small and here it is large. So it means that message signals amplitude uh, must have been smaller at this place in comparison to this place so this is the pwm signal now this as i told you that uh, we pass this uh, half part to this uh, ramp generator this ramp generator acts as uh, an uh, integrator and we know that uh, the integration of a unit signal a step signal is uh, the ramp signal okay it is the ramp signal so this is what this is just the unit uh, this is the simply the step signals okay these are the step signals and if we integrate this by passing it through the ramp generator then it will integrate it okay the integration of a step signal suppose it is unit step signal is what is the ramp signal okay if you integrate it then you will get the ramp signal so here look that uh, this is the, the step signal and uh, if we integrate it by passing it to the ramp uh, through the ramp generator then we will get a ramp signal from here to here it will integrate these values this value will be added and it will 
increase in length okay so here there is no signal after this after this point there is no signal so this maximum attained value after integration will be left here so it will not it will uh, the signals value will remain constant at this place again from here to here i have another signal okay this is another uh, step signal then it will be integrated since this is a longer width it is of longer width so integration will provide us a longer ramp signal so it is another ramp signal after integration from here to here from this point to this point it will integrate and again it will leave the maximum value because signal has stopped at this point no signal and again it will retain its value from here to here it will again integrate it since a smaller width so its length will be smaller and again at the maximum uh, on reaching its maximum value it will have a constant uh, maximum value okay because no signal is present after this so what we do that uh, here you see in this uh, diagram in this uh, block diagram that uh, we have seen what is uh, done by this ramp generator now this part look at this this is the pulse generator so the job of this pulse generator is what its job is to create or to generate a pulse at these points where this pwm this is pwm signal it starts so these are the points this this and in this way it goes so at these points at the rising edges uh, we it will create this uh, pulse generator will create a small pulse just before this rising pulses okay so look at this this is the point so before this just before this it will create a pulse just before this one also it will create a small pulse and similarly at this place also so this is the pulse generator's job and then look at this again then this the output of this ramp generator and the pulse generator is added okay we add these outputs so look very carefully how we are going to add the outputs of these two generators okay so this is the uh, we will add this one and the and this one output of the ramp generator and output of the pulse uh, generator add these two waveforms simply addition okay just point to point addition it is very simple just look very carefully start from this here from here to here there is a no at this point so this is the addition so add these two we will add these two okay so look at this point very carefully from here to here there is no signal so no signal at this place but from uh, and from here to here this is the only signal this this waveform has no part so this is the part here and uh, after this from and if you see from here to here then only this waveform is present in this part this is this waveform is not present so this is as it is and again uh, see this that in this portion also this is the signal no signal from this part okay but if you see this portion this is the only portion in this case where we have uh, uh, where the both of uh, these uh, signals have some value so from here to here this part and uh, this amplitude these both amplitudes in this range will be added so it will be higher than the corresponding these two amplitudes okay so it will be added here again look at this uh, just focus your uh, just focus on this uh, blue part neglect this uh, green this is uh, the, this has some correction and uh, I have made it again uh, in this blue part so focus on this part this 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 and this okay so look at this from here to here this is the waveform but uh, from here to here in this if you think in this way in this uh, portion it has no part so this is same okay and uh, in this part from here to here this waveform is taken this is the amplitude only single amp uh, only one amplitude no part of this so it is as it is but in this portion from here to here if you see then uh, we have a part for both of these waves this wave and this wave so 
this amplitude and this amplitude will be added in this range so it will be higher so this is the shape now we have added these two outputs of ramp and pulse generators this is the adder and you can see here that the output of this adder that we have added the waveform added waveform is passed through a clipper circuit clipper circuit what does it do its uh, job is uh, to clip off or to cut off the undesired part and uh, the desired part is kept and this part after clipping we pass the output through the low pass filter and get the message signal so let's see how this clipping works so next step is the clipping clipper circuit so it clips off the we will uh, take the values above this line above this reference amplitude so this dotted line you can see this horizontal line and uh, we are going to take only uh, we are going to have only this value which is uh, above this line so here is the part above this line so this is small part okay and uh, this part is this one and this is larger than these two so you can see that is smaller this is bigger than this and this one is again this one is again bigger than this larger than this this part okay so you can see that it is pulse amplitude modulated signal because there is difference in the amplitude uh, as per the waveform it is it has been converted into a PAM signal amplitude uh, of the carrier pulsed carrier is varying according to the amplitude of the message signal so it is a PAM signal and uh, this PAM signal is passed through the low pass filter if we pass the PAM signal through a low pass filter then we get the message signal just pass this PM signal through a low pass filter. This is also shown in this uh, block diagram also that it is output of the clipper is passed through the low pass filter and in the output we get the message signal. So in this way we understand that to demodulate the PWM or PPM signal first we need to uh, convert it into a PAM signal as I already told you and then this uh, PAM signal can be passed through a low pass filter LPF to get the message signal back. So I hope you got this point. In the next video we will see another concepts related to modulations and if you liked it please click on the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel engineering made easy yet then please subscribe it. Thanks for watching have a nice day bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.